not something that's on my typical grocery list. But you know, Paul and I are going away next week and Victoria's gonna be home alone. I've made my family disappear. Now, let me tell you a little secret that don't tell Victoria. She is great at so many things. She's a lawyer. She does so much of my filming. She does so much of my editing. She's like talented in so many ways. But she cannot cook to save her life unless it's an egg. She and eggs like that. So I started looking around in the freezer for things that maybe, you know, she could do on her own. And I picked this up and this was $5.99, $5.99. And I thought, are you kidding me, $5.99? And I took it out and this is it. This is what's inside. And I thought, I can make that better, cheaper, healthier. I bought some meal prep things and I'm gonna make it better, cheaper, and more, and healthier. And you're gonna do it with me. Let's go. Here we go. Now I cooked this one up and this is what we've got. We've got these five tiny little meatballs. I weighed everything separately. So I've got 40 grams of meatballs. These are pork and beef meatballs, all right? And I've got 84 grams of pasta and I've got 15 grams of spinach and I've got 55 grams of sauce. So this is what I have going for my 290 calories. And this, okay, you know what? I have to say it, it doesn't look, it doesn't look bad, but it looks kind of small. So I'm gonna see now what I can do. Now you can certainly use store-bought sauce, but I'm going to use just a tin of tomatoes. I got in here half a tablespoon of olive oil. I've got a chopped onion and some chopped uh, garlic, and I'm just rinsing out the remainder of my uh, tomato can with some water so that I'm not adding excess oil. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna put my tomatoes in the food processor and that is gonna be my marinara sauce. So we've got our can of tomatoes chopped. We've, I'm gonna add a little bit of oregano. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. And again, yet again, maybe about a half teaspoon. No, maybe it's almost a teaspoon of salt and pepper. Still got my basil plant on the side of the counter, so I'm gonna add that in. But feel free to use some dry basil and our marinara sauce is ready when we are. So let's move on to the meatballs. The meatballs in our healthy choice are pork, beef, and breadcrumbs, and we're not gonna use that. We're gonna use ground turkey, we're gonna use some egg white, and if you watched my pickle video where I made a really amazing turkey meatloaf, I put in chia seeds and flax seeds instead of the breadcrumbs, so we're also going to get a nice little fiber boost. I'm going to add in some garlic and some basil or any other Italian spices that you like, and I'm going to roll these into small meatballs. Meatballs ready? I'm going to put them in my air fryer, but I'm using it as an oven. So I'm just going to pop those in at 400. We'll see how long that takes. A couple of things that seem really pathetic about our little dish here is, number one, the meatballs are really, there's not much in there as far as that's concerned. Number two, the volume is really small. I feel, I feel hungry looking at this. So here comes the hack. What I've done is, I've got my penne already, and I'm gonna use exactly the same amount of penne that they had. But what I'm going to do is, I have chopped celery into little penne. So I've got 85 grams of the penne, and I've only got 40 grams of the celery penne. But when that's hot, with the sauce, with the spinach, with the meatballs, that's gonna be nice. It's still gonna have a little bit of firmness to it, a bit like an al dente pasta. You're gonna get that extra fiber, but almost no calories from the celery. So that volume is going to make us feel a whole lot better about our dinner. So let me put mine together now. Here we have it. Let's just look at meatball versus meatball. Look at the size differential here. And the other thing that I'm going to do, they put some Parmesan in their meatballs, which I didn't do, which means that we get to add a little bit on top, which is where you really taste it, right? Like who wants it in the meatball? We can have it on top. And 
look at the two we've got here. Everything else, the same amount of pasta, the same amount of spinach. Uh, I've used turkey meat instead of pork and beef. I've not used breadcrumbs. I've added fiber with my chia seeds and my flax seeds. And I've got homemade sauce, no sugar added. And there we have it. I'm gonna put the calories and macros on the screen of, on mine as soon as I figure that out. And I'm gonna portion the other ones off into the containers that I bought. And it seems like my daughter will be able to eat while we're gone. $5.99. And guess what? I've got five of these babies and you saw how easy that was. I'm actually gonna figure out the budget because I'm pretty cheap and I would not be buying that for $5.99, but if I'm gonna get five at around the buck 50, but I'm gonna figure that out, I'm gonna let you know. And tomorrow, I'm gonna freeze these and tomorrow morning, I'll cook one again. So we'll see that it comes out the way that theirs did, maybe better. do my due diligence and and taste this because maybe this is amazing but sadly it's not Ugh. it's dense it really has no flavor to speak of and I guess we are getting protein because there is 20 grams of protein in here but there's a lot nicer ways to get protein and I think it would probably be in this one let me try mm, my cameraman's gonna try one like that Paul. I froze my five portions and this is what the frozen portion looks like. Mine is 400 grams versus the healthy bowl at 283 grams. I'm gonna microwave it. If you recall I put the sauce at the bottom. We're gonna microwave it half, stir it around and then um, give it another minute and a half. All right so we microwave that for two minutes gave it a stir and there's another minute and a half and it's ready. All right, so let's give it a taste and then we'll compare macros and the price. Mm. The celery still retains a little bit of a crunch, but you know what? It's really, really nice. It's filling, it gives you more volume. You get to feel like you're eating more without adding a lot of calories. The meatballs are much bigger if you can recall what the other ones were. Now, I just showed you that mine is 400 grams versus their 283. Mine clocks in at 307 calories versus theirs, their 290. So only 17 calories difference, pretty, pretty close. They've got six grams of fat. I've got eight grams of fat because I have more meat. You could probably reduce it a little bit because I did put half a teaspoon, half a tablespoon of olive oil in with the onions and garlic. And you could skip that and just use the water from the tomatoes and saute the um, that into for your tomato sauce. You could have in fact deleted that little bit of it. They've got 20 grams of protein. I've got 29 grams of protein. And here comes the kicker. I paid $5.99 for that healthy bowl, Canadian dollars, to deduct 30% if you're in the US. And I made this for $1.63 or a whopping savings of over 70%. And I ended up with five of these in my freezer. It's frozen very well. The meatballs are delicious. And I'm gonna tell you, you've gotta give this a try. If you are looking to take something to work, or have a few things in the freezer when you come home at night and it's ready to go, give this a try. And don't poo poo the celery until you give it a go. So that's gonna wrap it up today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.